All right, 644 on your Thursday morning. If you missed Sharon's dance moves earlier, we're bringing them back. Those were dance moves? <laughs> Not like I could see you doing another we, dance. We're talking the, about the, the rain. The soft rain <laughs> and the hard rain. <laughs> so which one are we getting? <laughs> we're getting a little bit of the soft rain, yeah. or m mostly soft rain, and like a little bit of okay. the All more right. serious stuff possible. But okay. I mean, not going to be bad overall. We're going to have a good no. day coming up. Okay. We'll take a little soft drain. <laughs> <laughs> and a, a little flutter fingers. <laughs> oh, <laughs> gosh. And, and do you know this reference, Aaron? <laughs> do, oh, yeah. do, do you know that? Do. Do, no. With the rain hands? <laughs> Someone no, at home that? definitely does. Yes. Wayne's World. You're too young. Oh, my gosh. Shoot me now. Do one more time. All right. Go ahead. Do the weather. <laughs> you know, right? You know. Someone definitely does. I am going to get a lot of messages on Facebook now. Yes, thank, yeah. thank you, Sharon. <laughs> <laughs> As we go through your day, starting off, lots of sunshine out there. We have some cl high clouds that are moving into the state as well, so it's not crystal clear blue skies, but still pretty bright outside. Temperatures are dropping here as we go through your morning from yesterday. They've already dropped by about 10 degrees, so they are staying cooler to start your day because of those clear skies, but Nothing crazy. A lot of people sitting in the mid 50s to low 60s. It's a pleasant start to your day. It's really going to be a good one, even though we do have some rain coming later on. Dew points also in the mid upper 50s. That means it's still comfortable, but we are going to get a bit more sticky here as we head into the second half of your day. So it's not going to remain quite so dry and not humid all day because of these systems that are inching towards our area. As they get here, we're going to start to see some clouds increasing. We're going to have some rain showers in the forecast. And then we get a little bit of a break. Then another one rolls through. On Sunday, we're going to have another chance for showers back in the forecast. And then another break. And then more rain comes right back. So we're going to go back and forth with rain chances here as we go through the rest of the week ahead. Starting off today, though, looking pretty nice so far. Lots of sunshine out there, like I said. Some high, wispy clouds, but nothing to ruin the party. Then as we head into the second half of your day, we'll start to have some thicker clouds building in through it. And we're also going to have some rain showers possible. A lot of these are going to wait until a little bit later. I mean, on your drive home from work, you might see some scattered showers starting, but the bulk of this is going to be later tonight into tomorrow early morning. So it's going to be overnight. We're not going to see a lot of this as it moves through. The heaviest of the showers should stay off to, along the coastline. So this is going to mostly be like a Boston kind of storm, but we'll have the chance for some showers that are heavier and some storms possible. So let's continue to roll through. By the time you wake up tomorrow morning, we're going to see this mainly ending before you head out the door. And then we're going to have clouds clearing out of the way and giving us some more sunshine. So today's going to be pretty great. Tomorrow's going to be pretty great. We just had that rain in between the two. As we go into Saturday as well, still looking pretty good. We're going to have some sunshine continuing in your forecast before you'll start to see some more rain coming from a system over here. They'll start to move in for your day on Sunday. Now, if you're taking a long weekend and going down to Cape Cod, Boston, somewhere in a southern coastal New England, there's a flood watch until 8 a.m. tomorrow morning, so you can expect that. Flooding here, I'd say mainly just could be some localized stuff just because it can't really take too much more water wherever those heavier showers go. Continuing to get more humid throughout the day here, dropping off as we get into the next couple. So it's also going to be pleasant there before you see everything inching up quite a bit more here as we get into your day on Sunday as those showers arrive back in your forecast. Seas, two to three feet, winds out of the south with gusts up to 20 knots on the water today. And water temperatures are right around 65 degrees. Overall, going to be pretty great here for the next few days. Just some rain overnight tonight, some pushing in around sunset on Saturday and some scattered showers Sunday. But besides that, temperatures, I mean, in the 70s, right around 80 degrees, kind of low humidity and some sunshine. It's going to be pretty nice here as we get through that point. So it's going to be good. Next best chance for rain after that next week is going to be on Tuesday. We'll be seeing a rainy day. Day overall and some of those will linger around into Wednesday. So great week coming up. Just a couple rain chances. Alrighty. Okay. Thanks, Aaron. Not too bad. <laughs> Not bad at all. Well, from